none of them had the opportunity that Gray afforded itself as far as being able to build a program basically from scratch. Now, I say this, um, uh, my predecessors, Chris Hooker and um, Danny Cates and, and Keith McCauley, those guys have laid a, a good foundation from the first three years Gray had soccer here. Um, but, but this is, it's still a very infant program and it's a chance for us to really build uh, really from the ground up and take it to um, um, to new heights. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what's the most exciting thing. I knew I could go certain places and probably win 20 or 25 games a year and be in contention for a state championship. But in a lot of those schools, it's already been done. It's never been done here. And that was the, I, I hate to sound too Steve Spurrier, but why not? Why not us? Why not a chance for a little two-way school in West Columbia to take a chance and uh, see if we can't build? And when Emily had the opportunity to get a job here, it really just sweetened the pot that much more because we can do it together and we do try to build our program from a boys and girls standpoint. Um, there's a lot of synergy we try to have between the two. It's, it's a family. When you were looking, uh, did that having both opening? I mean, was that a It part wasn't of a requisite. No, it wasn't. That, but when that opportunity did present itself about three, two or three weeks ago, when that when that happened, it just made it that much more attractive. And I was like, hey, why not? I said, let's go do this. It's six miles from our house. Um, we, we're still in our, our West Columbia community. Um, so why not take a chance and see what happens? And, and as far as you think some of your players will follow? I don't know. You know, kids are kids, and parents have to do what's best for their children. Um, and I, I'm just trying to stay out of that as much as I can. Um, but, I, I, you know, I think people will rule it because we're here. You know, uh, one chapter at Brooklyn Casey High School is not over. Um, I am going to put uh, my whole heart and soul into winning that game on Saturday. Um, that's still unfinished business for us. And then uh, hopefully come uh, Sunday afternoon we can get ready for my new chapter at Great Collegiate Academy. So. How do your girls at BC feel about this? Um, I think it's a mixed emotions. You know, I think they realized it was a little bit difficult this year for uh, me to being there at BC High School with the circumstances with uh, Kevin Icey and then the circumstances with my brother coaching uh, the varsity team at Brooklyn Casey. So I think they do understand that's hard, but um, I think they have some feelings that they wish I hadn't have uh, chosen to go this route. However, they understand completely and they know that, you know, on Saturday and today, tomorrow, Saturday, um, we are still trying to win and have that goal of a state championship. What was it about Gray that obviously it had to be a, a package where, where you two could, could obviously you wanted to stay and work together? <laughs> yeah, um, you know, the package deal's nice. I had some other opportunities that I explored, um, but uh, me and Kevin worked well together.